We are at the Medium Security Custodial Center here in Kuje, well, one of the most reputable, uh, you know, custodial facilities uh, in uh, Nigeria. And uh, sadly, the latest to did experience uh, a jailbreak. Now, on Tuesday night at about uh, 10 30 p.m., well, uh, you know, the inmates are here and the prison community did report that there was indeed a strong artillery well uh, being fired at the facility well uh, on a close check well it was discovered that yes there were some you know there were some uh, persons who were indeed are uh, coming to uh, uh, break uh, break out uh, uh, some of the inmates uh, well they were repelled at the first time but we heard that um you know they reinforced and then did come back a second time and came in exactly through the gate now sadly at the end of it well an event that some people records that lasted as much as over an hour well, for some people to say it's about two hours and well at about you know after the incident well over 600 uh, of the inmates uh, did uh, escape now we can confirm to you that as at uh, 2 p.m. Well, we can confirm that over 300 of them have been recaptured. Well, some of them did come back on their own, uh, like uh, we did uh, here. And um, it's a uh, very, very sad uh, to see some of the damages that did uh, take place. Well, perhaps my camera person can help me out to pan towards the right where we can see three shared vehicles. Well, just in front of the facility, and then just a little away from it to the right, you can also see, you know, where the gates did come down, and of course, uh, where they did come in through and then also well by my left you can also see some shot vehicles again well some of them are vehicles that are used to convey the inmates to different places well some places of work well some of them uh, perhaps at the court where you know uh, most of them uh, did have their day well it's not just these vehicles where you look around you definitely will see chaos strong mayhem that did happen over two hours uh, like it was recorded and sadly i think the very sad thing is the fact that um uh you know th th there are talks of uh, the authorities receiving an intel about a possible jailbreak a couple of weeks back well for me i'm indeed very worried well it's not just about the intel uh, from a couple of weeks back for me it is about the fact that yes uh, this is the latest of the facilities to have come under attack and in all of them it has indeed been almost as successful well seen you know, inmates are being broken out. We've seen it in Imo State. We've seen it uh, in uh, uh, Kogi State uh, in Kaba, and uh, uh, the recent one here happening uh, in Abuja. Now, all this leaves uh, uh, quite a sour taste in the mouth of the security services. Well, just to go through again, well, we hear that over 600 of the inmates uh, did escape. Well, we hear that uh, over 300 of them have been recaptured. Well, some of them coming back on their own, and also sadly, well, we have. Have indeed uh, recorded about um, six deaths well unfortunately one of them uh, being a, one, a security personnel from the you know civil defense uh, who did uh, try to uh, you know make some kind of uh, you know try try to repel the attack but unfortunately was killed in that particular one and yes we also can confirm that as much as uh, four inmates uh, did die in the attack well this is indeed quite sad we've seen some high level nigerian nigerian authority well from the ig in inspector general of police to the minister of defense and then also to some other high you know uh, 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 personnel uh, of government are uh, coming here to visit and of course see things for themselves well also on ground are uh, forensic officers who definitely are trying to do very very hard to see if they can pick up any form of evidence or anything that tells us anything or any information as regards who definitely might have uh, uh, you know have been responsible for this attack and then also perhaps that from there we will get an idea of the kind of uh, you know weapons and artilleries that were indeed used in uh, conducting uh, this attack from the medium mass security correctional facility in kujay ferdinand droha reporting for our eyes news